Hi, I'm Paul Wellings uh, from the NME, the Anti-Social Workers and London Wide Radio. Just reading a quick paragraph from each of my books for my kids, Eve and Nathan, who I love to death. And the first one is Army Journalists Get Me Out of Here. Um, 20 years hacking through the media and music jungle with the NME and the Mirror. And this came out in 2004 and it starts very few jobs pay you great money to rub shoulders with such diverse characters as Michael Jackson, Reggie Cray and Natalie Cole. These are, there are very few professions that will tell you to go on a world cruise to countries such as Bombay, Hong Kong, Egypt and Papua New Guinea and write about what you see. And there are even fewer roles that, that let you rant and rave about your opinions on sex, power, drugs, music and the arts. But the new journalism, as the great Tom Wolfe called it, allows you to live out all those fantasies. So that's the first one. The second one was uh, Spend It Like Beckham, came out in 2005. Um, 30 years of scandal, power and money, supporting club and country about West Ham and England. And I'm just gonna read the first paragraph from this. The sad thing about the beautiful game is that when players were paid pocket money, they acted like real men. When they got a man's wage, they became lads. And when they were paid fortunes, they reverted to being little boys. And that is it, spend it like Beckham. And Sex Lines and Videotape, famous film quotes. Um, that came out in 2005. The movies have always held a magical... Uh, magnetism for me. I remember when I first saw Jack Nicholson's phenomenal performance in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest as a teenager. It was one of the first X-18 films I had seen and I snuck in at age 14. I laughed, I cried and watched all three shows that afternoon at my local Flea Pit Cinema on the outskirts of London. I came out at night and could quote lines from it verbatim. That film still puts goosebumps on my goosebumps which truly shows the power of cinema. And finally, uh, The Divine Comedians, the funniest quotes from Radical Stand Up. This came out in 2012. And I'm just going to read the beginning line of this. The McCarthyite forces of intolerance are back in comedy. We saw it in 2008 with Russell Brand and Jonathan Ross, when the Daily Mail asked for two talented, subversive performers to be burnt at the stake for a regrettable juvenile prank. As American journalists Mark Ebner and Andrew Breitbart said, this kind of intolerance is killing comedy and helping to balkanise the races, sexes and religion, etc. in the name of some vague, supposedly higher cause. So that's some, some excerpts from the books. They're all available on Amazon. Uh, happy reading. Love you all.